Everyone goes to the big Mayan sites, or they go to Teotihuacan and Mexico City because they're impressive. Whereas the Olmec sites, there's not much left. I've been to these sites several times now, all of them. We've been to pretty much every Olmec, known Olmec site there is. But the Olmecs really, they're characterized by the megalithic stone heads. Very unusual features that appear to be non kind of native Mexican, Native American. The ancient Olmec civilization, often considered the mother culture of Mesoamerica, was a mystery hidden beneath the jungles of southern Mexico for centuries. The discovery of this mysterious civilization began in the 19th century, when European explorers and archaeologists started to uncover the remnants of a once great society that predated the Maya and the Aztecs by hundreds of years. The first significant discovery attributed to the Olmecs occurred in 1862, when a colossal stone head was found near the town of Tres Zapotes in the Mexican state of Veracruz. Jose Melgar Serrano, a Mexican archaeologist, was the first to document this find. At the time, the discovery of the colossal head was puzzling and inexplicable. Melgar was struck by the head's unusual features, which he described as having Ethiopian traits. This observation led to early speculations about the origins of the civilization responsible for the head, and some even suggested connections to Africa or Asia, long before the Olmecs were understood in their own right. The mysterious nature of the discovery was further compounded by the lack of context. The head, standing over six feet tall and weighing several tons, was unlike anything else found in the region. It wasn't until the early 20th century that further discoveries began to shed light on the civilization responsible for these colossal sculptures. In the 1920s and 1930s, archaeological investigations led by pioneers like Franz Blum and Matthew Sterling provided more substantial evidence of the Olmec civilization. Sterling, an American archaeologist conducted extensive excavations in the Gulf Coast region where he uncovered more colossal heads as well as other monumental sculptures and artifacts. These findings were concentrated in three main sites, San Lorenzo, Laventa and Trezapotes, which are now recognized as major Olmec centers. The size and scale of the structures discovered during these excavations were astonishing. The colossal stone heads, which are perhaps the most iconic artifacts of the Olmecs, range in height from one and a half meters to over three meters and can weigh up to 40 tons. To put this into perspective, a single stone head can be as heavy as 10 African elephants combined. These sculptures were carved from basalt, a volcanic rock that was transported from quarries located over 60 miles away from the sites where the heads were found. The discovery of the Olmec civilization was shrouded in mystery from the beginning. The colossal heads, with their distinctive facial features and helmet-like headdresses, sparked intense curiosity and debate among scholars. Who were these people? What was the purpose of these massive sculptures? How did they transport such enormous stones without the use of the wheel or draft animals? One of the most interesting aspects of the Olmec heads is the precision and skill with which they were carved. Despite their immense size, the heads are remarkably detailed with intricate facial expressions, realistic features, and a sense of individuality that suggests they may represent specific rulers or important figures in Olmec society. The helmets worn by the figures have led some to speculate that they might have been warriors, ballplayers, or even deities. The question of how the Olmecs transported these massive stones remains one of the great mysteries of Mesoamerican archaeology. The basalt used for the heads was quarried from the Tuxtla Mountains, located dozens of miles from the Olmec centers. Moving these stones would have required an incredible amount of labor and ingenuity. Some theories suggest that the Olmecs used a combination of rolling logs, sledges and manpower to move the stones, while others propose that they may have used waterways to transport the stones by raft. However, the exact methods remain unknown, adding to the allure and mystery of the Olmec civilization. The age of the Olmec stone heads and other structures has been determined primarily through radiocarbon dating of the surrounding archaeological layers and the analysis of the stylistic features of the artifacts. The oldest known Olmec sites, such as San Lorenzo, date back to around 1200 BCE, with some structures possibly even older. The Laventa site, another major Olmec center, reached its peak around 900 to 400 BCE. 
This places the Olmecs as one of the earliest complex societies in Mesoamerica, predating the Maya by several centuries. To establish the age of the stone heads and other structures, archaeologists examined the stratigraphy of the sites where they were found. By analyzing the layers of earth and the artifacts contained within them, they were able to estimate the time periods during which these objects were created. Additionally, radiocarbon dating of organic materials found near the sculptures has provided more precise dates, confirming the Olmecs as an ancient civilization with roots deep in the pre-classic period of Mesoamerican history. One of the most intriguing theories about the Olmec civilization relates to their role as the progenitors of later Mesoamerican cultures. The Olmecs are often called the mother culture of Mesoamerica because they appear to have laid the foundations for many cultural and religious practices that were later adopted and adapted by the Maya, Aztecs and other civilizations. This includes the development of the Long Count calendar, the concept of zero, and the Mesoamerican ball game, all of which have been linked to the Olmecs. A particularly interesting theory suggests that the Olmec civilization may have been highly stratified with a powerful elite class that controlled large numbers of laborers. This elite would have been responsible for commissioning the colossal heads and other monumental works, using their power and influence to marshal the resources and manpower necessary for such endeavors. The heads, in this view, could have been portraits of these elite rulers, intended to immortalize their power and legacy. Another theory posits that the Olmec heads might have served a religious or ceremonial function. The Olmecs practiced a form of shamanism, and it is possible that the heads were created as offerings to the gods or as markers of sacred spaces. Some scholars have suggested that the heads were placed at the entrances to important ceremonial sites, serving as guardians or representations of the gods themselves. The decline of the Olmec civilization remains one of the most enduring mysteries in the study of ancient Mesoamerica. By around 400 BCE, the major Olmec centers of San Lorenzo and La Venta had been abandoned, and the once thriving civilization had all but disappeared. The reasons for this decline are still debated, with several theories offering potential explanations. One theory suggests that environmental changes played a significant role in the Olmec's decline. Archaeological evidence indicates that the Olmec heartland experienced significant changes in climate and hydrology during the later part of their civilization. Rivers that once provided abundant water and fertile land may have changed course or dried up, leading to crop failures and shortages. This environmental stress could have caused social unrest and ultimately led to the collapse of Olmec society. Another theory points to internal conflict as a possible cause of the Olmec decline. As with many ancient civilizations, power struggles among the elite may have weakened the political structure, leading to the fragmentation of the society. The destruction of major Olmec sites such as the defacement of stone monuments and the burning of ceremonial centers suggests that there may have been a violent end to the Olmec civilization. There are also more speculative theories that tie the Olmec decline to external forces. Some suggest that the Olmecs were invaded by other groups, possibly from the highlands of Mexico, who overthrew the ruling class and dismantled their society. Others propose that the Olmecs were part of a larger network of civilizations that experienced a simultaneous decline, leading to a broader collapse across the region. Among the more fringe theories about the Olmecs is the idea that they were somehow connected to the lost civilization of Atlantis, or that they had contact with extraterrestrial beings. These theories are not supported by mainstream archaeology, but continue to capture the imagination of those fascinated by ancient mysteries. The Atlantis connection is rooted in the idea that the Olmecs were descendants of Atlantean survivors who fled to the Americas after the destruction of their homeland. Proponents of this theory point to the advanced nature of Olmec art and architecture, as well as the mysterious disappearance of the civilization as evidence of their Atlantean origins. However, there is no concrete evidence to support this idea, and it remains a speculative and largely discredited theory. The alien connection theory suggests that the Olmecs may have been visited by extraterrestrial beings who provided them with advanced knowledge and technology. This theory is often linked to the colossal stone heads, which some believe were inspired by or created with the help of aliens. 
the precise craftsmanship and the logistical challenges of moving such large stones have led some to speculate that the Olmecs could not have achieved these feats without outside assistance. Again, this theory lacks scientific evidence and is generally considered a modern myth rather than a serious historical hypothesis. The discovery of the Olmec civilization was a momentous event in the history of archaeology, revealing a complex and advanced society that laid the groundwork for much of Mesoamerican culture. The colossal stoneheads, monumental architecture and sophisticated artistic traditions of the Olmecs continue to captivate scholars and the public alike. Despite the many unanswered questions and the enduring mysteries surrounding their origins, achievements and decline, the Olmecs remain a fascinating chapter in the story of ancient civilizations. Theories about their connection to Atlantis or extraterrestrial beings, while intriguing, serve our imagination to pursue our world's history.